is my channel. I'm your host, TJ Soundstorm, and it is nice to be back. Gotta admit, I was super excited about getting these shifts back that I wanted, right? Like getting back to eight-hour shifts. Turns out that when you join a department and it's the end of the fiscal year, those eights turn into possibly nines or tens. But again, those guys actually just let us come in a little bit earlier, get that stuff done, and uh, rack the OT while I'm learning the new job. So after zero week, because it was still a transitional week, right? Just a week ago, I was in the same 12 hour mentality, didn't have the full time off. And like, I felt like I was kind of like, not here this whole week. I did try to get on discord and chat a little bit more about just some random stuff I was running through, but week of learning. It's been a long time since I've just literally been like in an office setting and relearning everything with Excel, learning proprietary software that the company uses, and then like having someone just go over shoulder, tell me what to click, as opposed to like hope like building the memory as opposed to like understanding what's going on. So I gotta admit, I was pretty burnt this week. It felt nice to get into the gym three times extra on top of what I normally do. Got to hit the gym this morning, also got some blood drawn. Uh, probably as an advice thing, if you are trying to get yourself back into some physical fitness or some shape of some sort, and you have to get blood drawn for some, like getting a panel for a PCP or for whatever reason, probably don't drink pre-workout on your way from the hospital to the gym, or at least like tighten your bootstraps a little bit, because man, that was kind of a, that was a ride today, but still got up super early. Still got a lot of the other, like stuff done we were looking forward to um what i'm going to do as a content thing for tonight is my plan is to jump into DR deep rock survivor because there is an update we do have a brand new fucking biome which is super exciting i want to see what changes they made in terms of like the weapon damage how things still feel um we will be doing more than drg uh, because there is some other stuff that I want to check out. I do want to jump into Hearthstone and do a little more grinding on that battle pass because I've been having a lot of fun with the spells. And uh, I will have December Clark coming over a little bit later as well. So like uh, lots of stuff going on tonight and I don't really have a full plan. I just wanted to step out of the wasteland. We will be jumping back into Fallout 4 tomorrow. So never fear, we're not setting that down. I've been having a blast with the new setup that we have for Fallout 4, just kind of like a chill from the current content thing because we are going to be focusing on that but sunday is rpg sunday right so we're obviously going to be doing something with rpgs and yeah still trying to get a grip on all the things that have changed around it is a little different even though i'm not getting up any any different amount of time but like organizing the rest of my day getting off around 2 30 anywhere from 2 30 to 4 o'clock making myself get to the gym streaming those two nights during the week and then hitting it for the weekend i feel like that schedule is going to be pretty nice and I feel like uh, I'm going to be able to stay consistent with that schedule. And, like, getting to the gym has been great. I got to be honest with you guys. Like, the, the biggest fucking thing that's been different is as soon as you start getting back into a gym regiment, you just feel better. It's kind of like when you just start eating a little bit better or any other big change for that. But just, like, being able to go, oh, my God, I can, I'm going to gym five times this week so I could set up, like the different things that I want to do and then go actually execute and then like monitor water, like water consumption and, and be like, I feel fucking good. Problem is, is that I got unloaded on, on, we need you to learn all of this ASAP because we have people that are going to be leaving the company. So it went from, I have a lot of other responsibilities in one department to you're about to take on a fucking world of it up here too. So I was kind of reeling from that. A lot of information this week. A lot of stuff I haven't done for a really long time. Kind of kicking the doors and kicking the dust off a lot of that stuff. But yeah, so far in terms of like, did life get better after Switch? As of zero week and getting used to that Switch over, which I got two days off before we jump back into the grind. Yeah, yeah, life got better. And there will be a couple of longer nights near the end of the week next week as they finish fiscal year. But they are returning the favor and letting us just come in and work straight eights after that and then my schedule will adjust a little bit where i don't have to be in as early because of when we get production orders and things of that nature so overall very excited about the new position it is really fucking weird to wear tennis shoes to work <laughs> like I, small thing something you probably don't think about but like small thing that goes a long fucking way right like if you're going to be sitting and you're not going to be on the floor like getting to chill in tennis and not have like the boots there you know what i'm saying like it's been it's been different I've, I've i've really been enjoying some of it uh 
the, the biggest thing has been getting into the gym and then like getting to help with dinner this week it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to obviously but i'm hoping by like the end of next week i'll have you know the gist of it down have some of the, the times for when things are going to happen down and start to just get comfortable because right now i'm just not that's the same thing i told my bosses on friday we went out to lunch they took everybody out to lunch as like a welcome to the department thing which was fucking awesome and i told them straight up i'm like look i haven't done any of this shit for a long time like any of the stuff that we're working with i haven't had to run a business i haven't had to use any of this stuff so it's gonna take me a while and they're like dude we're gonna work with you you show up to work you're a good dude you're not like you know uh, a presence that everybody has to be aware of you're really wanting to learn this stuff and we're going to take time with you so that was fucking cool like I, i'm really enjoying it so far we did get to stream twice through the week which is un like unnormal and we'll be able to stream saturday and sunday still to get back to like the roots of what we're doing but i feel like there's a nice charm being able to stream for like three or four hours during the week too just to get to get on say hi to everybody i know i'm literally like getting off stream with some of our late night guys like Mr. Spider Monkey are getting off of work. And like, or it's it's crossing into time where like a viscerus would be finally sitting down by the time I'm getting off because of the time difference. But like overall, it felt really good. And I think it's gonna help considering we are trying to keep everything like a one game specific deal. Except for like Saturdays, because I'm kinda gonna go gonna go off the res on Saturdays and just do some other shit. Possibly some Helldivers. Definitely some Hearthstone Battlegrounds because I love me some Hearthstone Battlegrounds. We'll be having a couple of drink skis tonight, keeping it a little bit light. Gonna stick with the, the hard ciders because I no longer can handle the amount of alcohol that I used to. That's not real. I can't do that. Mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm, can't do it. So, but yeah, gonna just kind of chill, relax. We have tomorrow off. I'm gonna be in the gym tomorrow too. And we're gonna be jumping back into Fallout 4 tomorrow. Absolutely loving that mod package. Loving my playthrough. And man, I forgot how good it is to play a game that shows and doesn't tell and like lets you explore and you can get immersed in it and like that's the first time since Elden Ring I felt like that and it's playing a game from 2015 it's good I know people fucking shit on which game was better I don't give a fuck I like Fallout 4 game's good game's just good Recon Dwarf on Biome 1 level 4 fourth level has been getting me frustrated i haven't seen the new biome yet i saw that these guys put out a post about updating before easter and then also having some more stuff they want to add after easter spider and i'm pretty fucking stoked about it because like i gotta be honest do i like the original stuff like this or like like vampire survivors and death must die and the other grinders like that absolutely i do i fucking love those but i gotta say like this one's got a really weird charm to it that makes it kind of quirky it makes it stand out so i really hope they keep pushing it because i'm like adding biomes adding new weapons adding like you know stuff like that because i really enjoyed this so far for the amount of money that i spent i did buy the upgrade package that was just for cosmetics just to like support the project and stuff and i kind of stand by this one this is a good game i have a good time with it because if a game doesn't make you frustrated at one point in time or another it probably wasn't worth buying I know hot take, I get it, but like, realistically, shit probably wasn't worth it if it, if it wasn't fucking... Honestly, if you can't get frustrated by it and it's too fucking easy, I probably, I'm, I'm really uninterested in playing it, to be fair. And this one can get you frustrated. Hold on, I forgot to do the need to be a good streamer thing. Oh, also, Ultra's live right now. But I stopped in while I was fucking trying to get some house cleaning stuff done earlier. And I was not impressed with the DJs they had up. I know it's early, but like I saw the later list of people that were up there, unless I was looking at the wrong list. Cause I was just gonna like, after we had a couple of drinky poos, like maybe watch some ultra content. Not gonna lie. I didn't see anything on that list. I really want to like stick around for and watch. No disrespect to anybody at ultra. I saw blank didn't even get to do his fucking show yesterday because of the the storm they had sweeping down there but like i don't know maybe i'll double check later and see if i was looking at the wrong list but i didn't see anything that stood out which is weird like big weirdage hold on Oh, there's no tag for that one?
YouTube kick. Hashtag, let's go. Yo, Isabel, get it, Izzy. Fucking dude, Rez's album. Rez's album is fucking killing it right now. I'm so fucking happy for her, dude. Probably done. Did we uh, appropriately social media ourselves? Maybe? Yeah, no, I think we're good. All right, so let's dive into off my face first and secondly let's dive in and see what some of these changes are okay so weapons artifacts let's grab the screen so we can actually see what i'm doing i know it's still on fallout 4 i'm sure there's drg survivor and boom yep we're good now uh, except for the fucking size of the screen. Hello? How about... How about we don't do that? There we go. There we go, okay. So now we should be good. And yes, we are actually good. Except for I can't see chat. There's chat! There we go. Alright, so... For the stuff that we've unlocked, we still have the Viper drone there. Experimental Plasma Charger is close. We gotta get the Driller to rank 27, which seems like a long fucking way, to be honest with you. Um, Shard Diffractor? No idea what that is. Rank 21 with the Engineer. Well, Recon? Spider says is giving him a problem. On the new biome? Shard Diffractor we don't have yet. So we've got some that are just hurricane guided rocket system we haven't seen that one yet either so we've got some stuff that we can grind out arms core coil gun that's all gunner stuff seismic repulsor upgrade the drone so we haven't got that one's upgraded for its overdrive just yet uh bolt shark x80 never even fired it weird we still don't have the Voltaic. We, we need to get the Voltaic Sweeper. We need to get the Boomerang fucking leveled up too. Cryo Cannon has to get leveled up. Coil Gun, again, something I haven't seen yet. We haven't gotten the Thunderbird leveled up just yet either. Same thing with the Firefly Drone. And if I'm not mistaken... So the only one of the class rank ups we haven't gotten yet is level 18 with the Gunner. How close question mark is the gunner to Just getting there breathtaking isn't it so we don't have this unlocked anymore so that's different it's magma, a core. magma core type of day we don't have that unlocked anymore let's the... go to the bow these are all three cleared i thought i had that one at least partially started yikes and then Gonna the salt pits day. mine 3000 blocks of rock and stone Reach level 35 with the driller. Okay, so it starts with the driller. Let's just jump in with the fucking driller then. I'll do a hazard one. The gunners are lowest leveled one, so that's gonna take a little bit of grinding, I think. But let's start with the driller. Getting the rock and stone one done so we can maybe unlock some of the other biomes again. It seems like they added stuff, but they also made it where we have to get other things done to get those caught back up and open, which is perfectly fine. Definitely good with that. Definitely good with that. We definitely want to hit Driller. I feel like this might get too loud when stuff gets hectic. Let me turn that down just a little bit. Uh, chat a little bit more open. All right. 
Driller! We're here to mine, and I do it best. Find and eliminate the dreadnought. Remember, you're on your own this time. There's no one to carry your body back to the dock part if you fail. Legendary! You're something like that, huh? Okay, we're on river speed here. I'm a new dwarf. We've got bugs. We've got loot bugs. We like those. We have to get more kite. Fire this back up. Let's get this gold. Uh, we don't need status effect yet. Ramp the ease. We want to make sure we have enough materials right off the start. What is that? What is that? What is doing cartwheels? What is that? New mob type question mark? To fight for your life. A big swarm is approaching. There's roly polies now. Uh, cryo cannon has to get to level 12. Let's do it. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god. So the cryo cannon's another surround this one. We need to find the rest of this Morkite. Okay? We have located more Morkite. Well done, you got the ball. I'm gonna go with this. XP gain big. Ba ba ba. Damage in general big. There's our landing zone. Let's get this cleared out as quickly as we can. Well, we're kind of churning from the booth to the buff, too, so. That helps. That helps. Cryo helps. That stopped all of those guys in their place. My god. Uh, we need either Nitro or Gold. Since we're trying to get that Cryo Cannon leveled up, probably Nitro. Probably work the Nitra. I'll just take fire raid. Take fire raid again. Uh, sidearm, bigger mags. Uh, take sidearm. I'm blocking it to eleven. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. All right. Uh, rotate top. Damage, I guess. Uh, fuck, they're like little missiles. Okay, so harder surface movers. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We have a... What is that? What is that? Oh, oh. Kind of getting wrecked in there. Okay, go around. Oh, god damn it. Drop pot has arrived. Get there before the timer runs out. We got a decent amount. Okay. Taking you to stage two. We have to focus on this guy. Reload now, speed. This is a rare treat. Mining speed's oh, fine. Yeah. Now uh, we have a talking. lot of gold. Flip it, right? Nothing for me yes. here. Let's try uh, again. We have enough for weapon level I on this one. Get enough of this rare stuff. Bounce the two. Nails to match it. We might not need max HP. I want another go. Luck. This is my pick. Mm, no. Mushrooms. And work to be done. 
Mushroom, mushroom. Gado, 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 gado. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Same thing. We need collection. There's a lot of gold, and there is a lot of nitro down here. Yep. We gotta get the overclock for that guy. Make them traffic. We'll get these for some quick experience. Oh my god! That's gonna take some getting used to. That dude takes angles, bro. Double mushroom. That is a lot of roly polies. Well, it's beneath me. What the shit? Okay, just drag them all towards us. Loot bugs! Oh god. Yes. 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 A thousand times yes. Oh, we found a fucking hive of them. Oh boy. The game's making me geometry. Someone help. Ow. Good bug. Mushroom, mushroom. Another mushroom? Woo! <laughs> Critical damage? Probably a good idea. That's interesting. What does that do? Does it just help? Oh, bombs! Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Feel much better now. Feel much better now. These roly polies don't give a fuck, bro. My God. Uh, okay. Yep. Go with Old Faithful. Okay, so that's not a thing yet. Dive back in. Stuff's just blowing up. Is that a flyer? Oh, come on. Not a flyer, just lots of levels. Mining speed again. Woo! Oh, see no thick bugs? Not even thick bugs? No, <laughs> there's some thick bugs in here. What's up, Radiance? So we'll be back in Fallout 4 tomorrow. When there's an update for a really not like a really fun Survivor's game that's super cheap that we've been following since it released. And that's this. It's Deep Rock Galactic Survivors. And I wanted to jump in and see what some of the updates and stuff were. The new biome's pretty good. Glad you did not do Ultra this year. I am too. Sounds like that was not what was expected. <laughs> Sounds like I dodged a bullet on that one. Uh, we don't want the movement speed reduction, but I'll take the, the big bop on that one. Take it. So if you're familiar with Vampire Survivors or any of the games that are like Vampire Survivors, it's kind of like that, just in the Deep Rock Galactic Universe. Almost a foot of water in some areas. Holy gods, dude. I'm raring to try this out. Let's let's skip those.
Let's go with beams. Surely next time will be better. Reroll again. Imagine your weapon is what? What's it at? So nine, ten, eleven. Do I have enough for both? Yes. So we can prettier that. That's fine. Uh, epic critical damage. Reroll another time. All beams are bigger. I feel like we take all beams are bigger. A legendary. I knew today was gonna be good. Fuck, I take that one too. Never heard of them. So Deep Rock Galactic is actually a game of like uh it's a, a bunch of dwarves and they're they're mining a bunch of materials. And it's a really, really decently built game with some really good humor where you're flying around the galaxy trying to mine all these resources to get better increases to like the weapons that you have, the ship that you're flying. Like it's a really awesome game. This game was made in the spirit of something like Vampire Survivors or Death Must Die or any of the other like roguelike collection games that are more survivors that are just at the base, just really good roguelike games. This game's under $10. It's a lot of fun. There's a huge, huge, huge progression curve in it where you can like, if you're willing to grind for it, you get some of the really, really neat stuff in the game. So there's an awesome amount of progression and it's in the same spirit with the same humor and the same characters as Deep Rock Galactic, the main game, just in a Vampire Survivors-esque version of it. It's a lot of fun. It is also extremely frustrating at times. But yeah, animated, I, I saw that Blank posted and a few other people posted that uh, they were pretty pissed off. They couldn't even do their sets. But like, what were they supposed to do, right? Like, weather's weather. Oh, woof! It looks like we're looking for the blooms. Frustrated as fuck sometimes. Yeah, so I'm not understating that like <laughs> it, it could it could make you anger <laughs> But that's a big part of the fun for it man the roly-polies add a new dimension of let's play the dodge game though swim is heading your way. Load up. I love that they didn't just do a biome and they actually like Added something neat to the biome like different mob types and then you have like different things to pay attention to and avoid oh my god geometry <laughs> where's floaty bugs there go be floaty bugs oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god that thing's headed right for me will you fuck off oh god that red rock almost makes it look like you're digging through frozen meat or something. But yeah. It's not. It's not that kind of gross game. Make it all the way to the fifth floor and can't kill the big boy? Yeah, that's rough. Oh my god. Fuck you, Hulker. Fuck you, Hulker. No! Give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this, give me this. Bob and Weave, Grandma! Here we go. We churning. We churning. We still gotta pick up some flowers. We churning. We got a swimming coming. Loot bug. Loot bug. Loot bug. Ah! Uh, bounce it. Bounce it. Bounce it. Another loot bug. Two more loot bugs. You do not. Uh, last flower, hell yeah. Well done, you got them all. All right, let's try, emphasis on try, to get back to our supply landing zone. Ah! Ow, god damn it, dude. Prepare to fight for your life. The big swarm is approaching. They're not even technically locking on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Magnet! Oh, my god. Big! Um, fire rate. How bad? How bad? How bad? How impact axe? Fuck it. <laughs> bad joke. Bad joke. Uh, fuck it. Damage. Woo! 
No, oh my god. We did get a magnet out of it though. All right. Uh, yes. I'm a better dwarf than yesterday. I'm a better dwarf than yesterday. No. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh. Oh no! 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 Give me this XP. Give me this XP. Thank you. Give me more XP. Thank you more. Yup. Feed me. Fire rate. The upgrade I was looking for. Uh, change type to fire, change type to acid. Stay fire. My favorite type of clock. Overclock, my favorite type of clock. Fire rate again. This one. Let's see if I'm right. Oh. Got him. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Die, freak. We'll take that. Grab the purple. All right. Eva evasive maneuvers. We got a DD Mal. Ow, 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 ow. More legendary weapon range? Yeah. I'll take it. La 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 la. Yeah. Nice. I'll take it. Mm. Reroll. What else? Now this Reload is a speed. Treat. Damage. Bingo. Roll it again for the seven. This one Reload speed. Fast. I still love Smash TV. Yeah, you said this reminds you of something else. Get to work. There's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. All right, Bulo caps. When a damn box starts killing our family, you know it's time to quit. Legendary! We gotta get mushroom, mushroom. Oh my god, bust these down before that Hulker gets here, please, and thank you. Oh god, he U-turn. <laughs> yeah! Ah, 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 ah. Ow, why did that hit me? Holy fucking loot bug. <laughs> now it's my favorite color. I'm gonna paint my nails to match. Don't tell him sorry. It was essential. Ooh, there's more. Ta da! Ta da! Yo, we just missed that. There's some pearls. We actually don't get a lot of those, so that's good. We're full HP. There it is! There's the first one! Mine 3,000 blouch! Slam piece! Block them off. Reach level 35 with the driller. Send it! So then they gotta build through that. Oh, they gotta work through that too. There's some more loot bog. Give me a loot bog. Give me a loot buggy. Oh my god, roly polies! Jesus! Nope, let him bounce. Thank you. God, why is he so fast? There's some more gold. This new Helldivers mode is weird. 
fight for your life. Big mode? Ooh, got him. I haven't jumped into Helldivers since some of the new update stuff. I probably have to check that out tonight when December Park gets here. Oh my god! Blow everything up, please! Thank you! Give me this! XP when mining rocks. You don't see these every day. Get XP, folks! Works. Fuck it. Doesn't hit harder, but this one almost makes it too easy. Oh. Yeah, no, this is not L Divers. Don't mind if I do. Oh, boss! Oh, that's a boss! Oh, that's a boss! It's mine! It's mine! No, 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 no! Oh, God, it didn't even matter. The drop pod is prepped and ready. Get on it before it... Critical epic damage. Yes. Well done, Miner. Stage four was obvious. Chilling bugs for you, <laughs> This predates Helldivers. The, <laughs> the base game for for this does It'll predate do. Helldivers. Does in fact predate everything. Uh snag the heal and reroll. Pick up radius, yes. Lifetime, move speed, reroll. Should have asked for a raise. I Epic damage, 25%. Ooh. Acid trail, fire. Leave it fire. Clock, rock and stone. Do you know Smash TV? I do not know Smash TV. This is it. Destroy the cocoons and take out the dreadnought. Why are there seven player. fucking loot bugs up here? You should need precious mineral. It will get you killed. Do you imagine an FPS version of this game? <laughs> no, that's like asking if I, uh, if I can imagine an FPS version of Vampire Survivors. No. Gun hell games are gun hell games or bullet hell games for a reason, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know that we crossed those genres on purpose. That might not be great. One, drop them! Yeah! Ah, ah, ah. That's, that's too much going on all at one time, for sure. One, two, three, four, five. That will teach you. Shoot it in a face. Yeah, like, your brain probably wouldn't be able to comprehend what the fuck was actually going on. Yes, one extra charge, mines nearby walls, fuck the walls, one extra charge. Yep, give me that. Give me dib. Loot bug, loot bug. Because this can get really overwhelming really fast. Okay, LZ needs clear. LZ is right behind us. Chew it up, chew it up, give me thing. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, no, no, yes, I think. Give me the experience. No mags down, right? No, no mags down. Good. Fuck it. I just want to be able to run through everything. Fuck it. 
works. Just full sprint, big winning. More turrets! There is nitro over here. fucking ruining these bugs. The bad news is, is this is on level one. This is it. About to get the dready spaghetti. Here it comes. Bread not, bread not, where is it? Where is it? Oh god, oh fuck! Shrek it! No, oh, no, 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 abrupt movements, abrupt movements, evasive maneuvers. Oh, come on. Kite, 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 oh, kite more, kite more, kite more, kite more, kite more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The fuck out of the way, Rollies. Ow. This one shoots me best. Nope. Major look. Kill it. Yes. Objective completed. Dreadnought threat eliminated. Objective completed, miner. Get to the drop pod before it heads back to orbit. Never felt better. Never felt better. Vapor on. We got it, we got it, we got it. Alright. Another one for the books. Ah! We're pulling you home. Mine 3k and get the mission complete. Nailed it. And got that overclock. So cryo cannon's big better now. A Sabata number two in damage. The sentinels are so effing strong. Reach level 35 with the driller. Got that one. Complete the dive. Got that one. Mine 3,000 blocks of rock and stone. Got that one too. All fire damage. The impact axe doesn't get enough love though. Because like, until you get that second overclock, all it's doing is, is like, it's doing a decent amount of damage. It's leaving fire on the ground or acid, but it is a small knockback. And I think that's kind of the big thing that people forget about looking at that. We ended up with a lot of Enor Pearl that time too. Not enough for an upgrade, but we still ended up with a lot. You said Smash TV? Oh my god, please be real and don't be a troll. Smash TV. Oh, an arcade mover. Well, I mean, that makes sense. All of all of these are literally in the in the like the realm of supposed to be like an arcade game. Yeah. No, this is, th that is literally exactly what the premise of Van Animated, did you play Vampire Survivors? Because all of these games are literally like this, essentially. Just like the arcade vibe is there, anyway. It's kind of the architecture that they run it off of, just in not... Yeah, you should look up Vampire Survivors on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know why the bugs are so mad. You gave them all that open space. Make a new hive space. Chill bugs. You don't need those rocks. I mean, they want them, though. They wants it. It's like Golem with the rings. Caverns, he don't need favorite. it. But he wants it. It's a salt caves type of day. Stand still for 45 seconds. Two weapons to level 18. 
What about a throwback? Caverns, my favorite. Recon Scout. Salt Caves gonna be thirsty work. Stand still for 45 seconds is one of the requirements for that one. Lava, explosing maggots. Uh, another day on the job. Level 21 for the stun sweeper. We have to get it though. We have to get the stun sweeper. Hi ho, hi ho, it's to the bow we go. Magma core, more like sweaty pits. <laughs> well, they've got a couple of extra bonus things to help with dodge. Three. So you can stand still, technically. Um. Lava, actually, yeah. Explosing maggots, earthquakes. Another day on the job. Looking who gets, like a hot one today. Who gets the stun sweeper? Gonna be thirsty work in the hazard three for me. It's the scout, I think. Start with sharpshooter. I was on the console train by then. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That 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 type of indie game though, like really swept a bunch. There's now in total since Vampire Survivors came out with their two dollar game on PC. All of a sudden, that market crept to to consoles after the success that game had, and they had a fucking pair up with Among Us for fuck's sakes. Like that that game kind of exploded this kind of indie roguelike genre. It wasn't the first of its kind, but it was the first to capitalize on that type of art style. The extras actually having complicated like paths to being more complicated for progression and not feeling empty. Smash TV is from 1990. Yeah, that's why I said they probably have like. That's essentially the architecture that they were going for. That one being an actual arcade brawler is essentially the same, the exact same thing. Like the wave of those retro games having their, like the, the, the way that they're put together, built and operate. And then the way that you level up, that's probably one of the root positions they took to try to put those games together. And even using like the 2D models and stuff, probably even bigger, honestly, like, probably the exact reason or the idea they got the direction from time for some sharpshooting time for some sharpshooting find the damn thing destroy it bugs loot bug loot bug loot bug don't mind me just killing all of your cousins and stuff uh definitely mining rate Get away from my gold! Good level boost speed. I don't know how worth it that was. Fire rate. Feels real bad taking common. Alright, new uh fuck sakes. Uh GK2. That's not the stun sweeper, however. Explody! <laughs> Free golden nitro! Get the landing zone cleared. Well, I haven't been there yet. Of course everything's still blocked. Fire rate. Big Rotato. Big Rotato. There you go. XP. Oh god, oh god, they weren't joking, oh god. Hey, and switch! Oh. Never felt better. 
Never felt better. Ow. We've been down here. We need the 1,000 to get some juice. No, why are you here? Ugh. At least you're the one that stops. Last flower? Yes. Well done. You got them all. Big level up. Big level up. Damage. Loot bug, loot bug. Other bugs moving really fast. Other stuff just blew up down there. Go! So we don't need the HP, but we can tunnel behind these guys and try to find some more Nitra, at least. No, out. Watch it. The threat level is increasing. Loot bugs, loot bugs. Satisfied. The top pond is arriving. Get moving, Good. it won't hang around. No, 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 no. Holy shit, run, you short man, short man. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Fuck Christ. Were you watching that, announcer man? Because I feel like you weren't watching that, announcer man. Jesus. All right. Can, can my admin bot stay put? Please and thank you. That'd be great. Thanks. KK, thanks. Legendary fire rate for that? No way. We have Legendary. to take that. A little more. Oom, 50% damage. Oh, balanced overclock gas rerouting. Increase fire rate, rate of speed, increase damage and reload speed. <laughs> yep. Overclock, my favorite type of clock. It's mine. We're literally all kinetic damage right now. Save the gold. Almost. That's the fun. All right, we gotta get Bulu's. Ha, I made the right choice. This is the coming route. That's the anxiety part. Oh god. And it's wonderful. We are just a shitstorm of kinetic damage right now. No, you don't. Big swarm detected. Lock up and get ready. Amazing level right there. Bulo. Bulo. Nitra out. I dodged one of those. <laughs> the rest, not so lucky. Thank you, thank you. More, more players than you. Uh, th so this is like brand new, brand new kind of stuff. Like this didn't come out that long ago. And I think they have intentions of being multiplayer eventually, but currently it is not. Because DRG is multiplayer. So I would imagine eventually this is something they're interested in making it multiplayer. Uh, fire rate for sure. Just straight up said no, we're not taking that damage today. Blow up, please! Blow up again, please! Ow! We are hurt. We are very hurt. We are running. We are looking for Hulo caps. Because... Damn it, dude. It's like up in the middle of everything. Fire rate me. <laughs> Everything blew up! We like when that happens! Yes, uh, targets the... No, electrical. Spread the damage. There it is! Alright, level 12. Boomy, boomy, boomerang.
All right, now we just have to straight up hold out. No, fuck! We just have to not die. Ah, dude, the greed. God damn it, the M1000 is good. All right, no bonus on that one. That's gonna be increased to max health. Magma Core, always warm. Hazard we got the sweeper super freaking late too. Let's try Shark Shooter again. Find and eliminate the dreadnought. Remember, you're on your own this time. There's no one to carry your body back to the drop pod if you fail. <laughs> There's an achievement for dying three times. I don't wanna. Ghostface was up. What up, 24? Man, am I looking that pale today? Oh, stop! Stop taking damage I don't need to take! God damn it! It's calling to me. Reload speed big. Oh, oh, there we go. See, there we go. That's the place. That's the place right there. Just barely miss. It's all the plays. Okay, we almost have all of our... We almost have all of the... Ow, 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 ow. Please get this go faster. Thank you. See, where was that? Why could you have not popped off before they started eating my ankles? That would have been great. That is a massive, massive loot bug. And we want it. Uh, God damn it, dude. Take the deep core. Give me loot bug, man. Yes. Hello and good boy. Okay, it's behind us. Mining speed. For the love of God. Please blow up with me not standing in it. Thank you. I'd like to move it, move it. Decent. Good work. My body inbound. Good hit. What's our first artifact? Increase your fire rate and loading speed by standing still. Ugh. Um, sure. Do. That might come in handy. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Might. <laughs> yeah! Minus this one's so me. Yep. Give me all of your mats. Where's the Nitra? Game? Can I get some Nitra? But just yeah yeah yeah. There is the nitro. That's what we wanted. Pop off! Oh come on! All of you were supposed to blow up. Thank you. Now where the fuck is the rest of this nitro? How did we find like no nitro at all? I need weapon upgrades. Loot bug. Loot bug. This is all gold. There's some nitro. At least it's a split, uh, spitter, so we can like outmaneuver some shit. Ah, or just take it, or just just literally take it in the face. Magnet top right. No. Take the damage. Mining speed. You are magnet. The I see magnet. Ow. I see magnet. Pick up radius. Yes. Magnet. Polish him. Fucking polish him. Um, um, um. Balance overclock. Increase speed and reload. Nope. That one. And that one. And that one. And damn it. It's still not the fucking boomerang, man. Um. Yeah, fuck it. 
Let's take the rig. Fire rate. Big guess, wow, damage. This is a rare treat. Oh, we got heals on the way out. Okay. Taking you to stage two. Oh, weapon upgrades. We still just don't have the weapon that I need to get this completed, which sucks. You don't see these every day. I rarely Luck. go for this one. We don't have status. It's all kinetic. The dice on this one. Take the mining speed. Yeah. Take projectiles. I think we're good. You have your objectives. Get it done, miner. Mushroom, mushroom. Ooh, there's lots of them over here. Next time, let's go somewhere nice. Huh, blue! Loot bug! Loot bug massacre! Mushroom! Mushroom! There's some gold. Ow! Stop the damage. Swarm detected. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Another loot bug! Two more loot bugs, hell yeah! Give me loot! Ow, oh, come on! I should have just been out of range of that. This one's for Kyle! Bob and weave, Bob and weave, Bob and weave! Nice work. Supply pod LZ is full of crap. Please clear it out. Gonna try. We take the oh, damn 35% damage with the M. Yo, M1000 starting to cook a little bit. Hello and good boy. Ah, I've got it in the fire. Um, um, oh god, all these are garbage. I guess the critical chance is probably good. I barely go for this one. Fine. Just become the crit demon. Oh, these are great. <laughs> Reroll. Take the armor. Raring to try this out. Jade is here. Damn, boobs it kind of good too. Also, what up, lad? Speed. This is my pick. Give me piercing. Oh, fuck sakes. Fuck sakes. Fuck sakes. Re reload speed, but clip size is bigger. I guess that doesn't make any sense for this one, but. I'm clocking it to 11. Ooh. Nitro. The bugs 
I beg to differ. Kind of feels like a picnic. Run! Angles, angles. Drop pod has arrived. Get there before the timer runs Fuck. out. The drop Fuck. pod is not going to hang around. Fuck. Fuck. Um, yes! Umi, umi, Oh, some nitro. Get yourself onto that drop part. It's about to head out. Yes! Well done, oh! Man. We knew we could trust you to go it alone. Stage two completed. We need to just get 12 on this boomerang and then never have to level this damn thing again. That's what we need. Which means I need to re-roll. Hmm, what else? Yes. I can use this. Sure. It's for me. Also, yes. No, just take the oh we can't take that. A gorgeous gun for a gorgeous dwarf. I'm feeling lucky. Pickup radius is always fucking massive. Reload yeah. speed in general. Okay, we're good there. Fulfill your objectives, and let's get out of here. Bulo! Bang, 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 bang. I'm starting my own bloody mind, that's for damn sure. Show them how it's done. See lots of mushrooms over here and some gold, good. Objective first, then we go after the materials. I know. I'm aware of what the surface of the ship looks like. I'm surrounded by bugs. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swoon incoming. He wasn't playing. He wasn't playing. Please blow up. Please blow up. This is not end good. This does not hit any good. Yep. Yoink! No! Oh, come on! I was not next to that! Brother! Oh. It was like right next to it, though. God damn it, I'm never gonna get this fucking boomerang leveled up. Look at the M1000, though. Return time, sandwiches and beers. This works. This one. Shattered that row. 
good. No, I don't want. I'm only going to use that shit when it's just to level something because it's so hollow otherwise. Because instead I could just keep making that more powerful. Yes! Oh my god. Can we please pull our head out of our asses and play good this time? Please. Now this is a rare treat. Now that we have the boomerang and we just have to get it to level 12. Zone and Love, I need materials. We need the big thump nitro so we can get this boomerang done. There's no nitro down here! Anger! My nitro. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Great time for that. Yeah. I'm Never so fucking dead. Please drop. Please drop. Thank you, Christ! <laughs> Holy crap! Boomerang is actually a decent weapon. Oh, that's awesome. I just. I haven't gotten to see its overdrives yet. Which is probably most of the problem. Epic minus speed, big guess. Pick a bridge. Alright, let's find some red sugar. There's some more nitro. We could use some more nitro. Follow me. I'm here to kill you. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Red sugar. Bonus! Yeah. Can't hang around forever, miner. These bugs are your friends. Figured. Slash knew that. Fine. I'm a better dwarf than yesterday. Knockback. Balanced overclock? We'll take it. Clock this, bugs! One down! Objective completed, miner. Get to the drop pod before it heads back to orbit. Yep. Gotta move on, Miner. Diving deeper, taking you to stage two. I didn't finish the blooms. Damn it, man. Let me try again. Yes. It's a little extra special. Not happening. Yes. I want it. Yes. I just became a better dwarf. Keep it. Up and get Whoa. going, Miner. We have quotas to Lots of new bugs right off the get. Leave the hype! I don't want to level the boomerang anymore! Half off HP, get gold. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! We have to get more kite for this quest. Big swoon detected. Bug up and get ready. 
Ah, ah, that was a mistake. Oh, fuck me. Go. Ow. More kite. Yes. Go, go, gadget, mine faster. Or don't mind faster, Christ! All right, find another. We'll take it. Uh, block. Oh, more kite. Much better. There's no more kite down here. Blow up, please. No, no, no. Ooh, 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 big pop off. Big pop off. That's the boss, 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 that's the boss. Or no, just a rare. Good pop off. Burr, 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 plasma rifle? Get him. Yup. Yup. Supply pod cleared. Impact imminent. Dig it! Oh. Nice shot. Fuck it. I can use this. Objective completed, miner. Get to the drop pod before Get it heads back to orbit. Nitra, Nitra, Nitra! Twenty seconds, so much experience. Twenty seconds, so much experience. Level seven. Oh my God, the run. Get Ten. Under that drop part. It's about to head out. That elite never stood a chance. I will see to it. There is a beer on the house when you make it back. If you make Didn't it back. get all the more kite. I am awful at this fucking game. It's mine. Legendary fire rate. Uh. I'm feeling lucky. Sure. Oh, rah, rah, rah. The stuff of legends. Also sure. All right, let's objectives. actually get, get the done, fucking minor. objective done, please. Game, let me not be bad. Okay, no, none of you are helping. Mining speed. Loot bugs. Feeling much better now. You shouldn't need precious minerals. It will get you killed. Come on. Oh yeah, no reload speed's huge. I maybe undersold how big that upgrade was, but like it is, it is kind of massive. Bye. Swarm detected. Get ready. He'll be with you shortly. Oh. Come on, give me mushrooms. Come on. The 
channel just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Oh. Well, stop fucking doing that. I gotta clean this shit out first. Oh, there's some loot bugs right there. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna fucking hurt. I'm raring to try this out. Massive damage. Please do shitloads of damage. Please do shitloads of damage. Swarm detected. Get ready. We'll be with you shortly. Ow. Objective completed. Excellent job. Nitra. God damn it. Better HP. Just literally because we fucking need it, not because I want it. Find me red sugar, please. Red sugar! Are you in the corner? No. That's, that's not red sugar, but like, okay. There are many like it, but this one's high. Boy, monsters! Well done. Objective completed. Drop pod has arrived. Get there now. It will leave without you. I'm not trying. Did the magnet literally spawn right outside of the ship? Oh my god. Feels like a brand new gun now. Ooh. Gotta have it. Oh yo. That's the one. It's calling to me. This works. Oh yeah. Oh, it's still going. Ugh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh, oh yes. I'll take it. Oh my god. XP gained me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. It's at nine. Gonna roll the dice on this one. Oh my god, you're one away. Are you really one away? What else we got? Show me the boomerang! Cowabunga! More options! That's not a boomerang! Oh, I don't have the fucking shit for the legendary reload speed either. One more! I want another go! Yep. You don't see these every day. Yeah, yeah. Overclock says it's time to kill. Balance bigly. A better dwarf than yesterday. Slows enemies. Yeah. Like this, bugs. Yeah. 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 No, I know it's the level 21, but I also haven't even unlocked its overclock yet, Vlad. That's what I'm saying. I know we have to boost it, but I don't even have that thing overclocked. So, like, we don't even have, like, the benefits of having it yet, and I haven't reached that part. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it might be a decent weapon, but it's a lot easier to have one of those and to push it if it's got its overclock, too. Because if not, then it's just... It's rough. 
It's rough, that's what it is. What is happening? Are you good? Yeah, hold on. I need to use the bathroom real quick. Yeah, like, I just don't even have the overclock. And I would imagine getting it and then boosting it is probably way fucking better when you do, in fact, have the overclock. You know what I mean? You're just more lethal that way. One sec. All right. Shimon on now. We got work to do and quotas to meet. You have your objectives. Mushrooms. We're starting to get pretty strong. I'm ready for a beer when this is over. New bug pop. Yeah. Need two more bolo caps. Give me the XP game. What a boss! Oh! 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 All right, fuck it. We'll go back from the. We'll go the other way. Picked up some nitro somewhere. Oh, from the digging, okay. Bloody hell, you're Bug up and get ready. Oh my god, I wish plasma was stronger, man. I love the bounce. I hate how fucking not strong that shit is. Cut in, cut in, cut in. We gotta get these fucking mushrooms. Ah, ah. Give me another one. Ow. Well, that thing just got erased. Okay, we're leaving ourselves a pretty good escape route. There's one. There's one. There's one. A live album with Pokemon for I saw that. I fucking saw that. Of the three, not gonna lie, love Primus, love Pokemon, but like, man, a perfect circle is a good fucking band. Pretty excited for that. It's just good. Quality musicians making fucking quality music. Holy fucking bug! Yes! Keep blowing up! I need a path! Keep blowing up! No, don't freeze them. I need them to kill everything. Oh, god damn it. The scanner just looks like a Christmas tree. We got a snow coming. I don't make it past that. I don't make it past that. No, oh my god. Hell yes. Oh, yes. Move, speed. Ow, I didn't need to I didn't need to fucking step through that. Oh uh, I said of the three sorry, I can take a fucking break right there. That was fucking hype as shit. I don't know how I'm alive. First off. Secondly, love those bands, been a huge fan of Pussifer since forever. Always love Primus. Big shout outs to Chef Aid for like being one of the first times all of us probably had that in our ears. Right? But a Perfect Circle is just a fucking amazing band, and I probably listened to Mirror to Gnomes more than any other album that came out that year. So I'm more excited for A Perfect Circle than I am any of the other people on that list, but at the same time, still pretty excited to hear music from those guys.
take it. Go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Go. Oh, yeah. Go. I want it. Brian. Make them fry! Top off? Oh my god, I got the top off. Okay, we hit level four. We're on level fourteen on that fucking thing. I just became a better Gun it, horse. gun it. Yeah, like so that that's where I'm at. I saw that announcement was super fucking hype sure. about it, Why not? and then like, yeah, I'm hyped for the rest of it. But I can't get enough of this. I still feel stuff. like at the end of the day, like a perfect circle was both of their albums, and the second album was more like a Deftonesy vibe when they went Minerva, right? Like less of like the White Pony vibe, but they came out around the same time for the second album, like stint. Or third? Because no, Around the Fur was first. Then it was second. So third album from Deftones, and then second album from A Perfect Circle. When and all of them were like really like thoughtful, really awesome vibey music and shit. So like I dug them. But like Primus was always <laughs> I feel like Primus is one of those bands that when we're growing up, it's like, you don't know who fucking Primus is? And like at the end of the day, you know two songs. Like, I know every song from Primus. I've seen them live a bunch of times. Their shit's still wacky as fuck. But, like, those are artists that don't take... They, they don't fucking consider themselves some elite echelon. They're not stuck up their own ass, so their shows are always great. I can't sit down and listen to fucking My Name is Mud or Jerry Was a Race Car Driver or uh, <laughs> The Hairiest Old Beaver. Like, I, I, I can't take Primus that seriously outside of just, like, if I hear it and I'm drinking and having a good time, I'm like... Fuck yeah, Jerry was a race car driver. <laughs> and then it's like, ah, yeah, I know this fucking track. But I don't really want the second song that I hear to nece like necessarily be Primus, if that makes sense. I was outed as a possible school shooter because I listened to that album for so long in middle school. Even the principal's office, messages with the album was concerning, so I looked to on... Wait, because of Judith? Yeah, it's a really weird transitional time, probably. I would imagine just because of Judith. Little did they know, the same guy singing that song also sang Hooker with a Penis. So you could have gone the exact opposite direction and been even weirder for much different reasons. You had, like, two plates to pick from, and you chose that plate. So, like, eh. Or prison sex. Or this list gets really long for Tool fans. Dude, there's lots more questionable shit from Tool at that time than there was from A Perfect Circle. <laughs> like, honestly. Oh, fuck that control. guy. Take out the Good luck, Miner. <laughs> Get fucking roasted! Big fan of Keenan? Yeah. Mm. 
but like tool for the same and I, you know what i i made i i said this the other day not on stream i said this at work because now i'm up in the office setting and i brought up the fact that if you think about it there is just as many people that fucking rag on tool because it's the popular meme as there are people that say nickelback is awful but they'd probably be the first one to buy a ticket to a show if it got close to them right was one of the tracks i enable in tony hawk games yeah I mean, the, a lot of people, whether it be Tony Hawk or it be South Park, like, those are the quote-unquote grunge-era punk bands, like Social Distortion, and the list goes on and on for that. You probably heard tracks from the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, Social Distortion, uh, Primus, fucking, that was that, like, extreme sports becoming a happening thing that was the coming out party for that type of fucking music cky another thing that if you didn't fucking watch skateboarding or you weren't into that shit at all you probably never even fucking heard of cky and you're seeing stuff on fucking on the internet about bam margera and you're like who the fuck is that even it's like oh oh you poor child <laughs> oh god and Nickelback for similar reasons as a meme but I love both that's the thing right like every time Nick so back in the fucking day here's a Soundstorm not DJ story but when we're working on the fucking other side of shit right we had a show at the uh, it, it had to had to have been the Pearl Room before the Pearl Room shut down because it was way before it was way before we had like the big FM like rock FM 95 rock fucking thing that they do up there we had a show with nickelback and i want to say it was like taproot or some shit that was up there and the shit sold out right like really good this was first album beginning a second album before nickelback like seriously fucking popped off and honest to christ like as showmen and dudes that are just on stage drinking copping fucking jokes at the crowd and like good dudes they were good fucking dudes just because they got popular that's like fucking that goes back to the being a fan of maynard in the first place right in hooker with a penis he tells that dude you don't even fucking know me i sold out way before you ever even heard my name so go ahead and fuck yourself and buy my shit okay thanks bye like that's the premise of that song i can give a fuck what you think about my band you're here you paid for the ticket fuck off right like that's how he looked at it and everyone's lucky that that only becomes a, a fucking theology and like the way that tool does things like you don't like us lick our fucking taints because if bands like nickelback did it they'd have a fucking revenge tour sell out every major stadium in the united states and be like oh yeah we're awful while they're counting stacks of fucking money in their dressing room <laughs> you know what i'm saying like that concept i remember that growing up like oh that band fucking sold out eminem fucking sold out on this album <laughs> he don't give a fuck did you listen to it? Do you know every word to six tracks on a 12-track album? Yeah, you do. By heart. And you still fucking do. Road Trip Vacation 2012, aka Better Twisted Metal. Ah, okay. I was a fan of Ska. So, like, I was a fan of Ska from, like, the late 90s. Not to say that No Doubt was the reason why I was listening to Ska music, but it didn't fucking hurt. So... I knew about the boss tones less than jake that whole fucking like warp tour arc that was kind of my shit I killed a Lupa, and, I'm not and i still i swear to god i can go from i don't want to drink to i have to have beer right now if there's too much like flogging molly mighty mighty boss tones like it's just mood pumpers dude they're just good new music. I don't give a fuck if people like like it or not. All the bands just put you in a good fucking mood. I just love I I and okay, now that you got me on this fucking kick. What I love about music now and hate about music now at the same at the exact same pace is when i hear music now that's quote unquote popular i hear lazy and unintuitive back in the day when you found a new fucking band you got to be that hipster elite and you're like bro i've been listening to the deftones since around the fur you don't even know what fucking album that is do you like jesus you didn't know tool had two albums before this 
Aha! I saw these guys at Ozfest, bro. Did you ever even go to? Like that used to be a thing. And you're talking about like 14 or 15 bands that some of these people will never get to see again in their fucking lifetimes. It was like a badge of honor that you were a part of these things, saw these bands, Rage Against the Machine, same shit, right? Like you could do that. Now when someone's like, bro, I'm a fan of fucking lo-fi, super chill, Tibetan Mastiff radio shit, bro. And I go listen to it. I'm like, this is ass. When my friends used to do that shit to me with bands back in the day, I was like, bro, this is fucking legit. Now I'm like, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. You probably found actual shit. Like you probably found actual ear shit. That used to be awesome. Now it's like, oh, oh no. Nope. I'm glad you found it, not me. <laughs> Congratulations for finding literal audio poop. I'm like lo-fi, but I'm not gonna put it on a fucking pedestal. That's right, because it's fucking lo-fi! Hold on. I also don't I'm not I'm not gigging on people because they like lo-fi. I'm just saying every fucking time I ask. And they're like, it's, it's Fong, or it's Glide Fong, or it's Lo-Fi Hypnotic Psych, no, 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 I'm like, bro, holy shit. Take every major bass music musician on the fucking planet, take all of the stuff that they took time on bass-wise out of the track, and you have Lo-Fi. It used to be considered like a skeleton for extra things to layer on top of it. Now it's that, what people would consider like minimalistic and chill minimalistic and chill used to be like oh bro have you, have you fucking done ma mushrooms and listen to this trance album that's how it used to be now it just sounds like there's not a lot of energy put into it which i don't like the majority of new music i like is nerdcore and i've listened to some of the the nerdcore stuff and i don't mind that shit it all sounds like hardcore to me like i want to be honest with you it sounds because there's happy hardcore and there's hardcore and those two worlds go at the fucking tree and then happy hardcore can be a bunch of weird shit and hardcore hardcore can be like a bunch of weird shit and there's a bunch of little subgenres in there but that's where i split core right so dude check out this lo-fi bass boosted and that's what i'm talking about and i'm like oh my fucking god you forgot the rain back <laughs> i was lucky enough to see weird al at the boy scout jubilee see weird al was one of those things i'll never forget either He's a fucking good show, man. The only lo-fi I like is lo-fi hip-hop. Yeah, I only listen to new... I always fuck his name up. How can you tell? Babel and Divide music? That's all stuff that, like, I bet if I listen to it, Benja, I could probably show you another song from the 1990s that sounds exactly like it. And because it's not hot and people aren't producing it so much, they just get the freedom to say, bro, it's this new thing with a thing and a thing, and it's XYZ seven fucking titles. And I'm like, uh, no, this happened already. At least fucking like call it what it happened already. Daddy Fat Snaps makes good nerdcore. Maybe I'll look up nerdcore. Let me die or finish this out. Because we're doing like open, open source stuff. I'm on YouTube. So depending on what song it is, I'm probably going to get slapped in the vagina because... I can't play more than 15 seconds of any tracks. Otherwise, it's like, that is copyrighted, including my own fucking music. Thanks, YouTube. Again, I know where they're doing it. I'm not talking a bunch of fucking shit. But for Twitch, for Kick, and for Trovo, that stuff doesn't get me flagged. So I'll definitely fucking check it out. Because I'd, I'd, I'd love to see if I'm right. Let's put it that way. Not to shit on any of you guys, because I wouldn't fucking do that. But I'd love to see if I'm fucking right and can prove it. Because being right and not being able to prove shit, that don't fucking count. That's just bullshit. Shut up, no, 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 Prep it for 
landing. Fuck that. I'm a new dwarf. Oh no, this this absolute. Oh, why is there a fucking peninsula on my supply drop? Hell. I can't take the move speed drop. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Fuck it. Epic That's a no Let's do some damage. Spank them. Ah, stop it. Abuse them with CDR. <laughs> Holy fuck! Abuse them with everything. Kill the dreadnought! Come on, follow me. No! Nope. Go ahead and fuck yourself. Go ahead and get frozen. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Dom, 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 dom. Nope. Ha ha. Fucker. Wah. He's gonna do things. He did things. The freeze is baiting me. Thank God. Congratulations. One less dreadnought to worry about. Management sends their regards. Oh, thank God. Fuck's sakes, finally got that overclocked on. Jesus, look at the M1000. Even without... Even without pen and having rubber bullets just for the knockback to save our fucking schnutz... Like, that still slapped. That thing did 4.5, almost 4.6 million. Yeah, Boomerang was second. That's huge. Okay, so maybe Vlad's right. Maybe I just didn't have the, the overclock on that one, so it would actually do the chopping. Okay, what... What band did you just say, Benja? Let me snap into this and see if I'm right. Stop, no one cares about your gun closet. Why are you on my YouTube shit? What's that called? Let me look up here. <laughs> All right. Got reload time reduced three to two with the updo. It's nerdy stuff. I mean, we're all, I'm playing video games for everybody to watch. I almost fucking gugered my pants because of the new fucking mod that I have for a game from 2015 is awesome. I don't think there's like a a line there. What a nerd. <laughs> Lo-fi hip-hop. Go on.
Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Isn't this just bring me the horizon? Like, literally a one-to-one -one equivalent for Bring Me the Horizon? Okay, so bring me the horizon one for one. That's the first one. I'm just this is his mix, like his playlist of himself. Rap, rap, cyberpunk edge runner song, Moonwalker. Watch 100 plus channels of live TV. So one for one, we have like the pop off with rock or what? What is currently like a trending rock thing? If it's posty, so here's the thing. First off, I'm a huge Post Malone fan. Like, I want to point that out. What I'm about to say is not shitting on Post, but that is also just influenced pop music. The cyberpunk one? A little bit of asking Alexandria for some reason? Because his voice is whiny. Like, I, it, it's not whiny, but he's nasally. That's why. I love asking Alexandria. That dude can bend a fucking, like, high A into a minor, and it he closes his mouth for it. I fucking, like, The Void, the new song from them, his vocal range is fucking stacked, bro. But but it's it's the nasal run. That's what you're picking up on. Because as a vocalist, again, A, British. B, like, or, or so that East, Western, European, nasally stuff is what you're getting from him. I'm, I'm now getting shit here. Hold on. There's a merch pop. Still picking up the rock stuff. Okay, so two for two, this is, again, Bring Me the Horizon. This is like a uh, second album. Hold on, I'll just fucking play the example because it's easier that way. So this is the more electronic version of... Thirteen years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Send video via email. Notice the similarities between the drops. I'm not going to tell you who it is because I'm expecting most of you to go no fucking way because you know it. Ready? This may surprise you, but the point of Nerdcore isn't to develop a new genre. It's to make good music about anime, games, and comics. So hold on. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. So that's fine. If, if they have a mission for it, that's completely understandable. But they can also do it within this progressive rock genre, which is where it falls, because it's been done already. 
that's the problem that like old house heads guys that have been in bands for a long fucking time or anybody that grew up with music as like a main prerogative which i did up to the army and then after as a dj for well over a decade it, it just gets convoluted it's the same thing with the edm apocalypse when joel said he hopes to christ that not every artist does featured with because then everybody's styles start to blend together my issue is is that for rock bands or individual artists to say that they are creating something when it exists already that it shits on the people before them and as a house music musician, we are responsible between us and hip hop in being like a chronological time capsule with our music for all of these guys that did it and then continued to do it later in their careers and handed off to the next generation. So it's, it's just really, really shitty to those artists that did something so close to that genre for someone to be like, you hear that trumpet run? That's not trumpet, bro. That's space trumpet. Motherfucker, that's a mute. I was in band, right? Like, it's stuff like that. It almost like just kicks dirt into all the people that did this shit before it. So not shitting on the name of what they're doing, but in a way they are shitting on everybody else that made music that sounds almost exactly like theirs. Or like this. Fight. Everyone should know it already from the drop. But you will now. So add electronic drops and triggers to the entirety of the track and make it more like uh, everything that happened with their albums next after what separates me from you. And that's just an evolution with electronic music added into it for a day to remember. And all of those big bass drops where they're using massive triggers and studio adjustments, that's that big ripping drop and the drop culture that happened because of the EDM apocalypse when everybody started to lead up to a big fucking ball out 808, super over compressed and fattened. So what I'm listening to so far in a one for one is either the current style for guys like Bring Me the Horizon, which wouldn't make it new. It would just make it that type of progressive rock, which is awesome because that means prog rock exists. It's just not on octane, which is like kind of hipstery because like it's not the promoted octane stuff. And then the, the thing that it's about anime or anything else of that nature, the guys and the artists that do house music, that do hardcore, and do a bunch of drum and bass from those countries that are responsible for that, don't try to reinvent that. They are house artists. They are hard style guys. They are all of those things, right? So it's just weird to me that even people from that culture don't do that. But we, the listener, start to try to like put all these extra names and tags on it that I don't think make a lot of sense. So, good song, it's just, that's where that's coming from. And the other thing is, is if you're, if you're not listening to the video, right? If, if uh, you're not listening, if you're not watching the video, what about these lyrics doesn't just leave it open source like every other prog rock genre, like Bring Me the Horizon, or even A Day to Remember? where at the time, ADTR was just anger music. We were fucking angry children, right? Like that's the best part about it is a lot of that music came from what we saw as a disillusioned anger or pain growing up the way that we did. I'm 37, so going back to like junior high and high school for me in the late 90s, early 2000s, there was a fucking anger brewing that was second only to literally the reason why Sublime sang about LA fucking burning. And it carried over to us into that music. Corn, Disturbed, Godsmack, System of a Down. This list is huge. And it fueled us. Like it motivated us to stop being fucking mad by being mad and got us through some shit. But without all of the anime stuff that's playing in the background, these words could be impactful for fucking everybody in any way possible. The only thing this is doing is trying to brand itself.
right? It's trying to, I want to attack the people that are in love with this style of anime. Guts. Or, I see a bunch of them up here. Griffith Rap, Hiding in the Dark. And if you take away the videos, there's actually no premise that attaches to anything that you guys are talking about with that genre, with anime or anything else, outside of the artwork done in the videos. Because lyrically, it could be attached to fucking anything. Just based on what I'm reading as the song itself is playing and what they're talking about. It could be made in that facet, but like, for example, bands like Ice Nine Kills, their last two albums were 1000% about serial killers, horror movies, and slashers, which is fucking brilliant. But if you listen to them, the premise of what they're talking about can be missed, and it can just be mistaken for really awesome screen core metal. And they're fucking good at it. I've seen them live a couple of times. Mel's a huge fucking addict for those guys. But it's because of that open thing that they're doing that stuff like there's literally a Resident Evil song in there about Umbrella. And if you watch the video, you're like, oh, that's what it's about. If you take away the video and listen to the music, it all lines up with just personal feelings and vibes which maybe what you guys are triggering on is those animes specifically that they're doing stuff on, you're putting yourself in that seat where you're attaching it to an anime that you really like. A Day to Remember, they have a couple of like little dumbass Warp Tour-esque screenplay shits that they did, and but the song is about like a friend of theirs that committed suicide, and they have to rebound from that. But they made it fun and attached it to Warp Tour, so everybody sang it because it wasn't in minor key the whole time. They're like, this is fucking lit! And it's like, oh, but that song is sad. So, okay, two for two. Let me... Suits Hope Rides Alone is about Proto Man from Mega Man series, but it could easily be mistaken for a song about growing up with religion and falling. That's what, that's what my point is, though, right? Like... That's why I don't like the boxes that this stuff is getting put in. If they got the inspiration from something, amazing. Like, everybody got inspiration. Tool got a song about what happens when you're in prison getting raped on repeat and made the song and talked about being in prison and getting raped on repeat. And it's one of the most popular songs on that fucking album. People don't attach themselves specifically to one thing in each track. But that blurred lines thing, that's the part that just confuses me. <laughs> like, not to keep fucking invoking Maynard, but like, they did in fact do that. Let's go to the next one here. So this is, this is one year ago, so this is more current. Does he have one that's a little bit older? Like, what he's talking about? Just for like, the sake of maybe finding something that isn't this specific thing. See, these guys are in playlists with Falling in Reverse. That makes perfect sense. That's sick. Like, these are guys that you would probably expect or hope to see a warp Tour if this was 15 years ago. 10 years ago. 15 years ago. Yeah. What was, uh... Give me an earlier one, Benja. Because a lot of this stuff looks like it's relatively new. I'm talking about music. I'm not talking about... Yeah, they're in. Yeah, but you don't know who this is. No, I'm not. It would definitely under my skin. And it's about Naruto. Okay, so it's branded as something for Naruto. I'm going to do this without watching the fucking video.
That's my that's my thing though, right? Like so I without watching the video, that just sounds like really, really good prog rock to me. It actually literally in the vein, not to let YouTube guide my decision on what it sounds exactly like, but I don't see a difference in that song and that genre as opposed to like um Literally everything these guys have done for the last three years. Sloppy collar. Again, not going to tell you who it is, but the similarities are. Whoa. In my head, keep on telling me to pray because I'm spinning like a carousel, circle in the train. Hit the bottom of the bottle. I don't want to feel the pain, but that is all I got for now. I don't want to talk about the voices in my head. Keep on begging me to stay. If I pull the trigger now, then the demons go away. I know my time is coming, so there ain't no time to waste. So that is all I got for now. I don't want to talk about the voices in my head. Keep telling me to choose a side. It's heaven or hell, like it's do or die. I'm a sad boy, you know better. Please don't make this last forever. The voices in my head keep telling me I'm not. Right, so Falling in Reverse has been doing that since they came off of their like Warp Tour stint, and I don't hear almost, there's at least one or two tracks on each of the last releases. Popular Monsters is the same way, Watch the World Burn, fucking epic. So like, I'm, I'm just, I'm confused what's different, right? You could literally put the Voices in My Head lyrics to, like, I, I would imagine, I don't know, Faust, how many fucking animes? Like, there's probably a metric fuck ton of Crunchyroll that has, like, hero skits or, like, people that are dealing with something throughout the story forward onward that are probably, like, yeah, <laughs> like, that song would work for all of it. Watch the world burn. Same thing. And, Rodney, and please don't fucking sue me, you shithead. I love your music. But, like, these guys have seen them live now plenty, and... At different points in time in their careers they don't channel that anime group but again as if you watch the guy's stream he's a huge fan he just makes music based on the inspiration as opposed to letting the inspiration be the branding so what i my concern with that is that it is literally more about the branding for the people that are currently absorbing the music than it is about the actual music because it's directly attaching to it this dude went to fucking jail couldn't be a part of his band anymore, watched his ex-bandmates climb his old lady, and then fucking brag about it while he was in fucking prison, then got out and falling in reverse is now like, hey, they're kind of big. So I, it's weird to me because people are putting these bottlenecks because of words. The difference between the stuff that, that Benja was talking about from that artist and what these guys do, the only massive difference is if you're looking at views because it's catered to certain things. People are falling for branding traps as opposed to just enjoying the music and attaching the similarities to all of it. And 
I don't know, the, the more electronic music makes production easier, the more bands that could easily be blended with all of the stuff that you guys have brought up thus far. And if it gets happier and faster, I'm just going to tell you it sounds like hardcore. Or if it's more like hip hop, I'm going to say, hi, Hollywood Undead, for all the obvious reasons, especially newer stuff from those guys which has already been done. I want to remind everybody that, like, originally, Slipknot was a speed rock metal band. But they also rapped. Like, at its basis, bands like, uh, fucking, I don't know, Papa Roach, Slipknot, uh, there's a, there's a, Il Nino, fucking, uh, Nonpoint. I, I could keep going. There's a bunch. It's all, like, the exact same premise, but if someone's, like, Bro, this rap rock is so fucking good. I've never heard shit like this before. Where was this my entire childhood? I'm going to roll these fucking eyes straight out of my head over to December Clars, open up some closet he has with all of the old CDs that he has, and just take a picture with my fingers up of how many fucking albums were exactly like that. I could keep going. Fucking Saliva. Um, El Nino. Yeah, because non-point, you'll need... Uh, there, there, there's a shit ton. And it was all good. I was just thinking of head, head PE. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> but that's why I get so confused. And when we have conversations like that with people that are fans of those genres, even if you bring up indisputable evidence that that's like the exact same thing, it's because it's branding. And that's my problem. El Nino twice. So there's a, there's a much harder... Much harder metal. It's Chimera. I'm sorry. Holy fuck. I just actually desecrated Headbangers or Hairbangers Ball. Headbangers Ball. Fuck me. I forgot the spelling. No, no, no. You're, 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 you you're didn't put the, you didn't put the thing over the eye. But like the same thing. There's that early like Roadrunner shit that was there was all of that. A lot of those fucking bands were like that. If I'm not mistaken, fucking Mushroom had wrapped. Like, Cypress Hill was doing shit with massive rock bands. That's why there was a rock superstar and a rap superstar. So, like, for for me, it's just confusing. Because, like, is the music good? Absolutely. But why are we... I, I, I did this for fucking Fuser, too. Like, why are we overcomplicating this shit? Frog Rock! The only difference is, is that there's a global population that's gonna fucking sell out an arena to see... Bring Me the Horizon perform the song they did with Marshmallow. When the rest of it is like the 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 counterculture narrative, I guess, even though it's more or less the popular culture. From what I heard, XX was pretty heavy on rapping style. They kind of fell out of it. Still in there, though. I could bring up offshoot shit like Skindred, where it's like literal guys that did fucking actual like speed rap that decided they wanted to fucking do metal i fucking love me some skindred too so like i don't know it, it, it's just weird i get where people want like certain things that they're listening to share more of their identity and that's perfectly fine but like we just had 20 years of tool you can pretend you're a floating mushroom in the stratosphere and then you can also pretend you're just a disgruntled fucking factory worker and get along with the fact that one song means something different to you than it does to that floating fucking mushroom and everybody gets along. I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's weird to me. It, it makes it where it's harder for other people to find it, too. That's the biggest problem. Like, you want to hit the biggest fucking broadest apparatus that you can so people can appreciate and love your fucking music. And you can be found. If you're pigeonholing yourself, that's way harder. It's a really bad marketing move. That's what separates, like some really B-list bands from being headliners sometimes. Ask Seven Dust. Epic, legendary, everyone knows at least three fucking songs from Seven Dust. How many times have you ever seen them on a concert ticket where they're the headliner? Headlining. Not a festival. They are always like a band that's earlier in the day, or they're the band that gets people ready for the next one that comes up. And they've opened for fucking everybody. But they headline their own tour. Well, but, yeah, because that's their own tour. That's different. But I'm saying you always see who the, the big bads are when you look at fucking festival lineups and you're like, fucking A7 does is there, yes. And then the closer is like five finger or something. And you're like, oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> no, his first band was cooler. There's a lot of nerdcore artists that are trying to make songs that are them and not about any particular uh, characters or shows. So let me see. Let, let me let me double check on this. I want to I want to know nerdcore. I want to know what like the nerdcore is a genre of hip hop music characterized by subject matter considered of interest to nerds and geeks. If you're a, but that's that's so that's a. Brother, nerds and geeks run the fucking world. Like, that's almost like taking the 80s counter narrative that nerds are a bad thing from movies like Revenge of the Nerds and being like, yeah, I'm in my own pocket. It's like, no, you're not. Everybody's a fucking nerd. We're all watching, hoping that like the Fallout TV show is good or, or like we have games that we fucking love so much that we're still hoping that like they'll remake shit like for Final Fantasy, just not always Final Fantasy. Even just starting like that. Self-described nerdcore musician MC Frontalot has the earliest known recorded use of the term to describe this genre in the 2000 song Nerdcore Hip Hop. Time out. So, the 2000s. Why does this dude look like Moby? Nerd life, new relic, front a lot with the bad fella. Y'all keep it locked in. You're living it. Nerd life, you living it. No types prohibited. Get your low balance, then you distribute it. Upgrade your talents. Keep Front a lot is right beside you, thick glasses, no hair. I work a desk job making rap songs for internet. I take my hacking with me in the off hours like I'm itinerant. Bindle stick, sack full of big noggin. Doesn't matter what I code in, keep it logged in. Got the sock puppet on hacker news to back me up. I but what's the difference in this dude and Little Dicky besides the fact that Little Dicky is like an arsenal of fucking actual ciphers? Right? This goes back literally. This goes directly back to fucking Benja or fucking Sig saying that he saw Weird Al. This is Weird Al. Just in 11 years ago. It's 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 making a subject a subjective joke about it and that being the front. <laughs> What's nerdy about that? So is Weird Al nerdcore because he did white and nerdy? I'm so lost. That's why the convoluted, it just gets so convoluted and weird. I hear a four on the floor and a progressive melody, it's progressive house. That's why I don't like that stuff, man. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm so against this. Like, that's, that was, Weird Al is just literally making fun of this exact point. I could take something rip it, make my own version of it, make it funny or make it more like relatable to, I don't know, white people. It just, the list goes on and on. Amish people, like just making, objectively making a joke of how split all of that genre shit was, right? And I don't know, people just, it was a joke. Now it's serious and I'm concerned. And the thing is, is like, I'm not even saying the music is bad. The music is fucking good. I jammed to this shit. I just started fucking watching the first couple episodes of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood yesterday or Friday on my fucking day off after work. And as soon as the fucking intro song went off, I was like, banger. I said it out loud. I was like, still a banger. The, the outro music, still fucking banger. Like, it's just good. And uh, that type of whatever, like, I, I'm not familiar with that culture in the fucking slightest, but... It's just progressive rock and hip hop, or ele electronic rock and hip hop, matched together. <clears throat> wow. 
watch sports with no i don't want to watch sports it's not football season they're all bad right now <laughs> except for college women's basketball that shit pops Again, look at the timepiece, 2009. No one tells Skee-Ball we did this. I'm going to get a fucking discography. I swear to God. It still kicks ass, but it get kicked ass in its original form. I just fucking said that. <laughs> so, like, good, good artist, like adding a little bit of a, you know, a, their personal spin, which I don't know the artist, so I wouldn't even know what the spin is besides just covering the song, right? But like, this is just for for me or somebody else. That's that, that that's the point. Like, it's just good music. And in fact, in the in the like late 2000s, isn't this considered pop in Japan? I'd have to confirm on that. Don't fucking let me walk off that plank by myself. But like because of how popular in the Western societies, all of this stuff got because of anime's creep all the way from like the late 90s to the. Yeah, it's I think it's just considered popular music, J just like just like again, like Dr. Dre and those guys got all pissed off back in the late 90s, early 2000s when shit was their stuff was all over mtv before it was gutted out and they were calling dre pop and he was like bitch excuse you <laughs> and it's like yeah you and snoop and and all you guys like it's popular music right now and they were like <laughs> no and it's like yeah that is actually how that works ask nickelback branded forever it might actually just be alt rock right but if something grows to a, a high enough like appreciation level it all just becomes that specifically Since I didn't get a good drink at BS, I got us a goodie. Oh, man. I'm shocked. I'm, again, actually, no, it was above 33 degrees, so I'm not surprised that place was fucking crawling. But yeah, I, I, I love this stuff. It, it, and again, that's its mind attachment. So maybe that's the whole thing with that genre that you guys are looking at. But I will tell you, the difference between MC, nerd, whatever, and the more rock-oriented stuff that you guys are listening to is vastly different. I don't feel like somebody actually putting lines down like an early little dicky uh mixtape is even close to relevant to the electronic triggers the juice world effect that they're using for that he used for his pitch caster um the way that he was putting music together and the little bit of post malone that you're talking about matched over rock and heavy drops because again like that's all stuff that i've fucking heard before that's where it gets convoluted and fucking weird Ragnarok by... Well, I have a feeling it's going to be almost the exact same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the point of what I'm getting at, is that's not new. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was the only point. And I, I heard it in all three of those opportunities, like, all three of those things that were up there from that specific artist from Fable. Well, then it's just hip-hop. <laughs> Like, no one can tell me that when Run DMC performed with Aerosmith that it wasn't still hip-hop. It's just Aerosmith was there. Right? Am I fucking high? Music from popular anime is more pop over in Western countries, while over there it's a huge stigma of all that shit still, so most of the time it's only listened to by those who are losers that take part. <laughs> yeah. Sure, give me a word I can fucking stumble my face over. That's a great idea. 
Foss would type shit like that knowing I get banned if I say it out loud. And know that I'm either going to be a fucking drunk idiot and try to say it. <clears throat> or just nope the fuck out. Because then it's just hip-hop, right? I, I gotta give I gotta give Juice all the credit in the world. Because a lot of the stuff that I'm listening to, like that mix and match of the rock into the hip-hop stuff, like that's a lot of what Juice World was doing. I mean, you already heard the the replacement for the words that I use for Shin Megami. Like, I'm just going to troll. <laughs> Don't feed the troll. <laughs> Let's save face while we fucking can. Holy fuck, Joyner Lucas did a track with Jelly Roll? Must teach the world. They did a David Bakhtiari interview. But I don't know, man. Like, that's the thing. Like, I if 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 you had to do music as a job, I think you see it different. And if you're looking for something to, to make like yours. If you're looking for something to make like yours and attach yourself to it personally, because you just feel like you found something that finally like speaks to you. I totally fucking understand. I just think it's 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 kind of closing the door for other people that may really enjoy that music and they're never going to find it because of that. That's like that type of hip hop. You go back to shit like 303. Right? All of us when we were in fucking high school or just graduated back in the middle of 2005s, we listened to that because it fucking moved our subs. It was like, we didn't care if the shit was fucking redundant and stupid. My first kiss went a little like this. We were waiting for the fucking bass drop. And they tried to rap, which at the time, all the old heads were like, oh great, we have Beastie Boys with electronic music now. And that's where I think it starts to just get grayed out. And the second it starts running too thin between all the different genres, then it's really fucking hard to appreciate shit. It's like, oh, this is brand new. This is brand new. This is brand new. And then you close yourself off from hearing all the other music that is exactly like it. And you're closing off the possibility of your discography being fucking 40 times bigger because of that. It's just weird to me. The yeah, Hell was lots of fun. They just had another update too, I think. Gonna be a salty day. <laughs> Gonna be a salty day. Just I'm not trying to get salty it, today, guys. Shut up. Time to turn up the heat. Thank you for the lurk, Neo. Do the dive, rock and stone. Is there another one we can just jump okay. into, though? Sure, why not? Upgrade two weapons to level 18. Mm. Magma core, more like sweaty pits. It's still stun sweeper. Shit. It's so shiny here. Level 55 with the recon scout. Bro, that's not. Four. Sure. Why not. Hold on, we need to get some gunner. We need to get some gunner levels. That's what we need. Salt take the, sure. Why not? Take, take the gunner to salt two. pits. Let me oh, uh, let me water and snack myself. We gotta try to get some gunner levels, because I don't know what this is, but I wanna try it. I wants to play with it. Also, thank you for letting me like jump into that for that conversation to explain my fucking point too. Because again, like I'm not hearing shit. I'm not hearing stuff that sounds bad. I'm also not talking shit on it. I just don't like the second you close doors and try to make it sound like it's in a very small tight window, then you don't get to appreciate all the other stuff that's almost exactly like it. And there's a lot like it. That's like, for me personally, like if I like mariachi and then I've never heard of fucking Sublime, but I'm like, that's not mariachi, it's rock. It's like, holy fuck, I just screwed myself out of listening to Sublime. Like, what the fuck? Because that's the biggest thing is like, objectively, if the music's bad, no one's going to listen to it. If it's good, it's going to have, what did that, that one had like almost a million fucking views on it. It's relatively new. So like people are listening to it and eating it up. It's just like, I, it would be really hard for us to be like, when can you go see that guy in concert? Right? 
like when can you go experience it instead of just like having it because if, if that's me i want to go listen to music that even if it's not exactly that i can hear something that like really speaks to me and for that specific reason it's like i would advise people to go to a day to remember i would advise people to go see motionless and white i would advise people to go see like all the stuff that was like comparable because bring me the horizon if they haven't fucking shot good luck on those tickets fuck sakes but like you still get that vibe you just the experience is in real life <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then you're missing out on the opportunity to, to, like, on the wider basis, meet other people that really enjoy something that's very close to it. Because I got to tell you, and I, me and fucking December Club were talking about this, we went to we went to see Mudvayne and Cold Chamber up at Tinley Park. We had really, really good seats. And a show like that, when those bands were popping, the, the mosh pit would have been full of people that were bleeding everywhere. Like, there would have been fucking blood. There would have been beer bottles getting fucking thrown around. Like, there would have been a lot of that. Now, that those type of, like, rock-focused and oriented crowds are so fucking pleasant and nice. Like, everybody's just happy not to be at work and they're out enjoying that kind of fucking music. You really have the opportunity to get out and find like-minded people that are into that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, anything that's a pipeline to something else is perfect. It's like perfectly. That's how the YouTube algorithm works, right? Yeah. Sure. If I go click on corn, a video from corn, I'm probably going to get all the other bands that we've been talking about from like the late 90s, early 2000s, because that's the directed way the algorithm works. I've just always, for people that are more quote unquote nerdy or uh, what would be considered like the hipster class right now, it's like, but y you're not really counterculturing anything. Counterculture is fucking dead, essentially. Because that was the point of being a hipster, is being ahead of trends. And it's like, no, these, these trends are still present. Just because the warp Tour isn't the warp Tour anymore doesn't mean that music like that isn't super fucking prevalent. That's eventually, like, warp Tour would have eventually turned into, like, Comic Con. I, I feel like would have been, like, the, the, the path it was headed towards. Because that became, quote-unquote, counterculture. But the reality is there's more people that watch all that shit. That's why you can have... Like businesses pop up like Crunchyroll and make billions. Yeah. One of my clips was it. One of the mm, Bulldog called. Heavy Revolver? Target's closest enemy. What's the jug get? Armor? Max HP? Weapon range is down. You know, so I checked it. Ain't no one got fire rates like me. Find the dreadnought. Eliminate the dreadnought. Find the loot box. Find the sandwiches and beers. You, you can do this. Alone. mineral. It will get you killed. It will get you killed. I don't use this class enough. <laughs> I want it. Sorry, but your own fault for being full of goodies. Oh god. Oh. oh. I mean it works, but it wasn't ideal. Uh reload. I'll take it. Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. Thunderhead. Bullets the size of beer bottles. Like Bullets the size of beer bottles. That's why that's weird to me. Get it cleared out, miner. That's why that's weird to me. Okay, so this generation attaches that track or that type of music to anime, right? So let's go back to like the 90s and old school superhero movies. Okay, so stay with me on this one, because this one could get kind of convoluted. So, if people were watching the the weird Batmans, like from the late 90s, early 2000s, right? 
they're watching the real weird ones with like Uma Thurman and fucking Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze and shit. And there was a song in there that was supposed to be directly like made, because at the time they did this shit, made for that movie, right? So then everybody started saying, that's Batman core because it was attached to Batman or that superhero core. You look at that person and be like, shut the fuck up, Seal was on that soundtrack. What in the actual fuck are you talking about? Or, or take it to the animated side. Stuff that was in South Park. Nobody says Primus is South Park core. Hi. That's not real. That's not real. Ice Cube was on that album. <laughs> Tip off. The presidents of the United States of America were on that album. They are still whatever the fuck they were. But that's the part that I don't get. We didn't used to do that, but now we find a need to do it to further seclude ourselves into a, like, genre fight. We didn't hear uh, Fly Like an Eagle on Space Jam and be like, look, yeah, that's Looney Tunes pop. Nope, fucking seal. <laughs> Differences they existed before said media. I can keep going and make even more blunt examples of that, if you'd like. Nerdcore exists because it's for the sake of said media. Okay, so back up. Hold on. So you're making it sound like the internet, social media, and that, like, type of genre wasn't the thing before well, right so the avengers aren't new or weren't new and during that genre was iron man during that genre or is it because there's a small part of you that's still like yeah but that's not mine that's the problem i want to shut doors on other people and that's what what like brigade sound it's the same thing No, I'm not saying you're specifically saying it, but I'm saying if you start to close that door and just say it's for now, it's like, this shit all existed before that. All of it did. <laughs> like, it, it did. Just like Funk. That's my argument with fucking Funk. <clears throat> Something existed before that. Called Funk. They just decided to say fuck everybody that enjoys Grizz, Big Gigantic, STS9. I guess fuck all of us. You know, we were paying for the tickets before most of those kids hit puberty. Be the best Stop fucking me up. Jesus, these things are annoying. I mean, technically, people classify Venom by anime. So who's people? Because I will tell you right now, Eminem does not classify anything Eminem has done as nerdcore. That is the rap god. He's not the nerdcore god. That's why I'm saying it's just kind of convoluted and extra. Like, way extra. <laughs> Like, super extra. <laughs> Why do I get a... Ma All right, no, we're not taking that magnet yet. Thoughts paragraphed. If we take Venom and Iron Man, for example, the artist, they had an identity separate from it, while those in Nerdcore exist in identity to the type of music they make for the sake of the comic books or anime. And I hate them for putting themselves in that. But that's the thing. Like, even you, even you were like, what's the point of that box, though? 
because there's there's people that specifically made music for that for those movies too that's like <laughs> that's like <laughs> if the lord of the rings movies came out yesterday as opposed to when they did are there going to be like <laughs> john williams core <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what we're doing now? Because <laughs> it's ridiculous when you put it like that. I'm orchestra core, bro. Oh my god. No. Back out the door. Come back and try again. The Black Parade. Most people don't know what that album is actually about. I mean, facts. But that's the thing, I, and like I said, not a genre that I was super big on, but I gotta give those guys all the credit in the fucking world. Because some of the shit they were talking about, the people that were listening to it didn't realize how fucking dark and shady that shit was. My chem was good, man, like really artistically fucking up there. Yeah, it's just weird. Because like, again, even though like the books and the series and stuff is super fucking nerdy at the time when those movies came out there was entire schools that were taking days off to bus kids to the fucking theaters so they could see battle of helms deep and shit in my area because the teachers were like bro we had we made them read this as forced reading curriculum let's pay it off so it wasn't nerd culture it was just culture because it was so fucking huge Oh, for fuck's sakes, not everything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> do you play the game or uh, do you just talk? I do play the game. What's up, Baz? You know, part of the streamer's job is to actually communicate with the people that are typing, too, though. Forget I was here, I'm out. Okay. Bye. I'm a new dwarf. Feels rare. Feels that was fucking bright. rough. On that guy. <laughs> uh, doubles your armor while the weapon is reloading. No, that's right. Cooking with gas. Ow. Do people actually think we care about that? I'm confused. Shit core, except metal core. Y'all earn that one. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all yes, earn that please. one. Aliens. Guy shows up to a fucking streamer who has DJ in their name and must just assume that's my fucking name or something. This. By the way, we stop and talk about shit sometimes because it's more entertaining. Sorry. This is perfect for me. Like not really, but for the sake of the conversation, sorry. Plus them. It's not gonna hit him! Oh! You can fucking hit those guys, though. Hey, back! Um... Probably the plasma, I guess? The Drax would come up a lot. Oh, the bunks grow stronger. Nah. Big cannon, so much fun. Give me, give me, give me. We're gambling. We're gambling. This is my pick. Feels rare. Feels right. It's mine. Stage one cleared. Be sure to spend your time. Where the top artists were locked in that genre, I'm sure they'd be way bigger. And that's the other thing, is like it's it just I don't know, some of it's just kind of confusing to me. 
not there's anything wrong with it like more power to people to do what they want to do and like be you know artistically be exactly what they're looking for and just i don't know it's just it just seems extra man what platform is that on i'm confused Um, one second. I'm curious now. Asshole sparked my curiosity. Stand by one. Don't Was that on fucking? Oh, you guys didn't even see that message. I was wondering why Boss was being con was like not jumping on that. <laughs> I was really curious if that was on Twitch. Why somebody didn't jump on that comment? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say never. Never mind. Do you play the game or uh, do you just talk? Forget I was here, I'm out. Bro, I forgot who you are already and I'm looking at your fucking name. Weird. I, had, I fucking said that shit to streamers. Are we not supposed to talk and just, you know, dead stare like I'm in mythic fucking raids or something and not make conversation? Super awkward. I'm gonna go with this. No, I kept looking at fucking Twitch chat. I'm like, is no one gonna say anything? Oh, it wasn't Twitch chat. I want it. It'll do. That got weird for a second. Go. That's the one. Feels rare. Feels right. You have your objectives. Get it done, miner. See, Foss, it's moments like that that almost get really fucking good. No, it was on fucking YouTube. It's for me. I know, I know. That's why I had to go verify. I was like, wait a second, hold on. When somebody comes in and talks that kind of shit, usually, like, even my lurkers are like, bitch, who the fuck are you? People shouldn't give me a reason to have moments like I did in Tarkov. The scanner just lit up like a Christmas tree. We got a swoom incoming. I'm a pleasant human. I can quickly become an unpleasant human. Well done, you got them all. Gotta have it. We can't send in supplies until you clear out the landing zone. Oh, how the fuck do you want me to get down there? Ow, god damn it, dude. Fucking bocce balls, man. Oh. No, there's an island on this. Oh my god. Thanks for your help. What's still on here? I'm blind and bad at games help. Not night. I rarely go for this one. It's mine. Boy needed that. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Boss is like, hold on. I have to sniff out the shit lord. Hold on. Uh, new weapon. Uh, where the bulldog? 
give me the bulldog. Oh, reload speed of all heavy weapons. Ow. Pop off. That slash is gonna fucking hurry, bro. Shoot to kill. Shoot to kill. Is there a chance? Oh Lord. Didn't plan on that. Please murder this rogue. Please murder this rogue. Oh my God. Murder. Uh, move picture. Murder. I don't know what the fuck that was. Epic fire rate? I'm having an harder epic yes. Vision. Luck harder yes. Tough choice. Reload speed. Ooh, Reload speed. Let Roll me try once. Again. Ah. Feels like a brand yeah, new fuck it. Gun now. Gas rerouting and a little more oom. Damage or fire rate? I want to go damage and reload speed. Overclock time, baby. 50 max, fuck it's it. For me. Sure. Let's get out of here. On board is the same as socks. Yes. Rushing it. Nitra. Bulo. These tunnels are crazy. They are epic everywhere. Wax that dude. Reload cleared. Yes, damage. Overclock, my favorite type of clock. Gonna, gonna, oh. Don't need much room. Oh, God. Big damage. Making damage higher with a heavy, heavy, heavy gun setup. No one's mad. Yep, that one's more. bad. No, goddamn. Yo, that slapped. Go 
Okay, I'll just walk. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Doubles your armor. No, fuck that fire damage. Oh, that's ass. Reroll that. Also ass. Fuck it. No, let me get my upgrade first. Ow. No, 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 Drop it right on the bug's ass. No, 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 bang. Artifact. Fuck it. This works. We're just satisfied. The drop pod is arriving. Get moving. It won't hang around. No. Yes. We are kind of ripping this shit apart. Big fan. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Status effect. Which mm, is similar what to like what shit. Really? I'll take this one. He got adopted already. Load up and get going, miner. We have quotas to fulfill. We have quotas to fulfill. I'm wondering if fighting bugs and moving dirt is the best way to make a living. This fire race ridiculous. Redonkulous. <laughs> Get away from my loot box. That's fine, but I'm still getting this nitro. Oh, for the love of fucking Christ, come on. Oh, this isn't looking better. We're just now getting to the supply pod? Holy shit. Hell yeah. Oh, December says hi too, Benja. He's actually in the house. <laughs> this one for Kyle. Oh god, oh god. Burn them! 
That hit the spot. Have the connect damage. Oh. oh. <laughs> Should have worn a hard hat. Stupid! This one. Piercing. My favorite. Stage finished. The drop pod is prepped and ready. Get on it before it leaves. Get yourself onto that drop pod. It's about to head out. Well done, miner. Stage four was obviously a breeze for you, so we look forward to your easy completion of the final stage. Legendary damage for that is a little bit busted. I'm not gonna lie. Legendary? It's my lucky day. Yes, please. Pick up bonus and send it. Just a big one. <laughs> Help! I don't want to get. Why am I stuck in here? Give me the sugar. Feeling much better now. Feeling much better now. Yeah, they get one fucking HP was hurting. Find the other egg, find the other eggs. Think you can kill me? Well, think again. That's kind of unfair. We're kind of roasting those. Never felt better. We got too much clutter for the supply pot to land. Do something. Now, oh, okay. Ooh. Back to hell. Oh, so the fucking gold main went on top of it, too. Oh. Send it. Just full set, like everything. 
Come on, 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 come on. Woo! Here comes a knot. Sweet Jesus. It just Drop gets shredded, dude. Get moving. It won't hang around. Give it to me. One down. Very well done, miner. Damn. I'm taking you back to the space rig. Complete the dive, got that one. Lord, we had extra damn. Crazy, the lead storm felt like it was doing all that damage, but then like right behind it, what up, Tyrade? Right behind it, the fucking the the thunderhead was actually doing more damage, just even across the board. Nutty. Okay, give me just one second, guys. I'm going to actually find myself some food really quick. Uh, Ty Raider, if you're not like... I'm going to message... Actually, hold on. I didn't get a message back from Bags yet. I should probably check that. He might still be napping. I was trying to make sure you and Zug were around after I talked to Bags, but I, I feel like Bags is still asleep. I don't know how fucked up he got last night. If not, I'll just ping you guys tomorrow. No, we just had a frozen pizza. That sounds like an awful idea for everybody's insights to do that twice. Give me just one second, guys. I will be right back. Let's go. So what's the plan? The plan is for me to find food really quick. <laughs> and then um since december clar is here after i eat we'll see if if there's a couple of little grind milestones that we can get with the new biome for this or if it's like time to switch stuff up when we switch stuff up we will be turning off youtube because we still can't do the youtube still terrible at like changing games but give me just a second to find some food because i'm literally starving and then we'll see if exactly where we're at
Fucking nachos make the world a better place. Okay, bump stock stuff. Bye-bye, YouTube. Hit subscribe and shit if you enjoyed the conversation. It was so troublesome, but also the gameplay.